Okay, so in this uh, tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB flash drive for a Windows 7 installation. Uh, the first step, obviously, is to plug in your USB flash drive into your computer and make sure you back up any existing data stored on it because uh, the, the functions that we are we are performing on this flash drive will be erasing everything on it. So it's very important that you back up uh, any data if it's important. So the next step is to launch the command prompt. It's right here. Uh, let me should do it this way. Let me go to start and type in CMD. And once Windows finds CMD, right click on it and run it as an administrator. Yes. Okay, so here we are. Let me maximize this for you guys. Now, the utility that, uh, that we'll be using to perform these functions on the flash drive is called the disk part utility. So let's type in disk part, and that's going to put us in the disk part uh, utility section. And now, what I want to do is I want to get a list of all the disks that are on my computer. So type in list disk. And as you can see, I have a disk 0 and disk 1. Disk 0 is 465 gigabytes, and that is my main hard drive. Uh, disk 1 is uh, 14 gigabytes, that is my USB flash drive. Now, because I'm going to be working on disk 1, my flash drive, I want to select that disk. So type in select disk 1. Uh, after you select, I usually uh, rerun the list disk command just to make sure the right disk has been selected. So if you see a star next to it, that means it's the correct disk that we have selected. So let us start working on this disk now. What we want to do, the first step in this process, is to clean this disk. So after we clean the disk, any kind of partitions, any kind of data, anything on this disk has been cleaned up next step we want to create a partition on this uh, disk create partition primary press enter and it says that disk part succeeded in creating the specified partition now you got to select that partition because we want to format it so select partition one. When you create a primary partition, it's always called a partition one. Okay, so enter. So partition one now is the selected partition. The next step is to actually format this partition. So type in the format fs equals ntfs. And type in the option quick. So you could have formatted this disk as a FAT32 file system but we want to use the NTFS file system because that is a requirement for us to do the whole bootable Windows 7 USB flash drive. And as you can see, I put in the quick option here. That makes the format process go much faster. Uh, if you don't put the quick in there, it could take 5, 10, 20 minutes. With this one, it will take probably 25 to 30 seconds. So let me enter. And we will just wait this out. Should be almost done. Okay, so the disk part success successfully formatted the volume. Next step is to actually designate this partition as the active partition. So type in active. You know, it's been marked as the active partition and then you can assign a letter to this USB flash drive if you want to it doesn't really matter assign as soon as you do that you will also see the the Windows autoplay trying to run the USB flash drive and as you can tell by that letter G there that is the letter that was assigned to my disk so close that we can exit from disk part 
and then we can exit from the command prompt just by typing exit okay and so now you have a USB flash drive uh, that is a bootable flash drive all you need to do is to copy uh, the contents of a Windows 7 installation DVD to this USB flash drive or if you have an ISO image of Windows 7 you know you can you can drill down to the contents of that ISO image and copy and paste it over to this USB flash drive thank you for watching this video